Hi, I'm Rick Zanotti, and this is another Captivate Quick Tip from Relate. How do you create a Captivate presentation like PowerPoint and then control it with just one click on the screen to navigate from one slide to the next? Well, it's real easy. In this particular presentation, I've got three slides, and right now there's nothing that stops it. For example, if I press F4 to preview, it'll go through the first slide, then it automatically continues on when it hits the end of the slide to the next one, and so on until the end. Well, that's great for a self-running presentation, but if you're a presenter and want to be actually controlling this, you need a mechanism to do that. And Captivate provides two of them. One is a click box, which you can put ac across the whole screen. The other one is a transparent button, which I'll add now. So we'll insert a button, and there's three types of buttons in Captivate. You can have a text, an image, or a transparent button. In this case, we have transparent selected. We want to keep our border at zero because we're covering the whole screen. And we want this button to be invisible. So in essence, we'll leave the transparency at 100%. Now here is a gotcha in Captivate. You notice that Captivate on success, when you click the button, defaults to continue. Well, that could work, but it often doesn't work the way you want it to. When you continue, it will continue through the end of the timeline for that particular slide. So for example, if your button is pressed at two seconds of a 10 second slide, you'll need to wait eight seconds to go to the next slide. And that's usually not very acceptable in a presentation. You always wanna make sure that you go to next slide whenever you're navigating uh, within Captivate. Now let's go into our options. And we wanna make sure that our time of the slide is on for the whole slide. And in this case, we want to pause it, oh, let's say three seconds. And that's the only other option we want. I'll press enter, that saves my button. And if you notice down here, the button is actually pretty small. So let's resize it to cover the whole screen. And you do notice it is transparent. So our button now is covering the whole screen. Now to get this into every slide, I'm going to do a control C which is a copy. I'm going to select oops, select the next two slides and do a control V. So this that places the button on both of those slides. Now going back, I'm, I'll hit F4 to preview. And unlike last time, it's pausing. If I press it, if I click it, it goes to the next slide but the second animation didn't work correctly, and I'll show you why in a second. If I click it again, we go to the third slide. Okay, what happened in the second animation? Well, that's kind of a timing issue. If I double click on the button, and we go back into options, it's pausing at three seconds. Well, this is about a 10 second slide. So I'm gonna make that nine seconds, so it won't pause until nine seconds of the slide have gone through. The button will be active, but it won't pause the timeline. I'll press enter again. Let's run this one more time. Now I'll click. That takes us to the next slide. And now notice that we get both fade-ins without a problem and it pauses correctly. Now I'll click again and we go to the third slide. Well, that's all there is to creating a navigation scheme in Captivate that's similar to PowerPoint. For Captivate, quick tips. I'm Rick Zanotti with Relate. Thanks for listening and watching, and I hope you subscribe as well.